Where has the Nintendo passion gone? Seems like Nintendo, well, more like Game Freak, the actual developers of Pokemon games, have lost their way. And they have been for years. I mean, ever since Sword and Shield came out, people were talking about, man, the animations are lame, lacking, the graphics are bad, no voice acting, and they just haven't really pushed themselves like they had did before. And how can a brand that's worth more than $100 billion and it's made so much damn money, worth more than Disney and Star Wars, put like this. Stick around and see what I mean. There's no point in saying that obviously Pokemon is addicting. Anyone in the 90s pretty much knew. The formula works and it has worked for decades now. There has been the recent shift to higher quality models and everything. And even though there's been little to no change in the formula, it's still too strong and too powerful and maybe stronger than ever in fact. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet both made tons of sales, like 10 million plus sales in three days. The highest sales ever for any game exclusive I believe and definitely for any Pokemon or Nintendo game. Period. I loved Pokemon ever since that Game Boy Color days and the 90s Pokemon anime, obviously. One of the very first movies I ever did see in theaters was Pokemon, the first movie, and I'll never forget it. I played a good chunk of the Pokemon games and I haven't played them in years. And what's been keeping me away from these games is mostly the lack of quality for the games, the lack of change, the lack of making something new, right? Switching it up, bare minimum effort of the animation, lack of voice acting, and piecemealing the effort where you now have to pay to catch them all, literally using the Pokemon bank where before it was possible. Hard, but possible. I mean, look at all these animations. They've been static since Sword and Shield. Barely anything improved. People found out they used the same 3D models and just upscaled them back in Sword and Shield. I mean, look at this. This game is over 20 years old from a console that had like 2,000% less computing power. But the animation and the passion behind the Pokemon are still there. The attack, the sounds, the movement, everything looked amazing for the time and it still holds up compared to the newest Pokemon somehow. I remember loving the animation, especially Surf and how cool it looked, explosion, and other effects. The music from Pokemon games have always been bangers, but the animations from the stadium were amazing. And again, 16 years ago, I played the out of Pokemon Battle Revolution, which pretty much is Pokemon Stadium 3, sort of. It still has the best animations, music, gameplay, and effects ever made. They still have not been topped, and we're talking about the Wii days, okay? This is like 2007. Why can't we have the same quality for the newest Pokemon games? There's no excuse. Before, it was on a Game Boy that was limited. After that, Game Boy Advance, still limited. 3DS, less limited, but still limited, right? And now we're back on the Switch, and it's still lacking. I mean, even the GameCube game, Games did great, like a Pokemon Battle Coliseum. They always push the boundaries. Now all my complaints can be put aside and be like, who cares, right? Well, those things can be overlooked. This can't. And what I'm talking about is the frame rates. How is it that a game in 2022 can be locked to 30 frames and somehow still dip below that to around 20-ish frames in the end of 2022? Wow, that's a deal breaker for me, like most people. I am not sacrificing frames for anything here. It's not like Pokemon Legends Arceus, which also came out this year, where sure, the game wasn't gorgeous but damn it sure was revolutionary to the formulas and the pokemon way to play everything was incredibly animated for the most part and you were basically running around like breath of the pokemon here and it was amazing oh yes I, I can sacrifice some of the frames for that but here what am i sacrificing here this is the best gameplay wise pokemon has been from the traditional format for scarlet and violet that's not arceus right but look at it this game looks like it came out in 2003 on the ps2 i mean the last time i had a horrible frame rates from a nintendo game was breath of the wild on wii u which i bought of course but god that that game ran like ass and I think Nintendo robbed me of my money because of how bad I wanted to play it I didn't want to wait for the switch version which came out like months later I still sank so many hours because the gameplay was there the graphics were there the story was there so uh, that's what I was sacrificing Pokemon company was caught saying the switch can't handle this yet yeah, Breath of the Wild ran much better and looked much better Xenoblade Chronicles looks much much better any of the three so no Nintendo well Game Freak for saying it can't be on switch because it sure can it's that you guys didn't want to wait six more months or a year more of a delay to get your money I'm not saying the game is bad. It's really really great from what I hear like the best It's been yet for the traditional Pokemon formula But what I'm saying is this needs to be higher quality. What does Nintendo seal of quality mean anymore? It doesn't mean crap. This is just embarrassing. This is like not as bad as cyberpunk 2077 But it's still pretty damn bad. This is the worst Pokemon launch we've had yet I want a game that runs well I want a game that has the passion from the developers that you know develop Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 Pokemon Battle Revolution which the frame rate issue is a deal breaker for me like most people that's just unacceptable never again will i play another low optimized frame rate game on the switch never again or for any game really for that matter not a 60 dollar game i don't know but this ain't it chief we deserve better you deserve better we all deserve better maybe one day we'll get that quality team back or hey if rcs was the best step yet maybe we'll get a sequel to that 
soon and fix everything that was wrong with that one. But that's all I gotta say. So, how are you enjoying Scarlet or Violet? Are you holding off on buying it? Comment below and let me know if I made any sense. Thank you all for watching. This is Renom Junk, signing off.